You're ready to go. We live in huts. We talk with the clicking of our tongues. And we protect ourselves from the lions with our spears and our shields. That's right, you guessed it, Africans. There are many stereotypes that come with being African, many of which are, we are all dying from AIDS. It's a continent full of naked savages with flies flying all over our faces. There's tribal warfare 24 seven, and the biggest one that Africa is a country. Africa is not a country. Instead, it's a continent filled with 53 other beautiful countries. I did a um, question analysis and found out that 16 out of 22 of you said that you would visit Africa, but many of you narrowed down your searches to South Africa and Egypt. South Africa and Egypt are beautiful countries, but I'm here to tell you about the beautiful country, Nigeria. Nigeria gets its name from the Niger River that flows between it, and it's the third largest river in the world. Um, the Nigerian Naira is the official currency of Nigeria, and Abuja is the capital city, it's the capital city while Lagos is the largest city. Lagos is kind of like the New York City by America because of the fact that it's like hugely populated and there's always something happening. The richest, um, Nigeria just so happens to be the richest African country and according to what the fact, it has also been enlisted in the list of countries featuring the next 11 economies list. It is also a member of the OPEC, which is Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Um, English is the official language along with the other 30 other languages spoken in the country. 7% of the world's um, languages are spoken in Nigeria, and that's mainly because of the huge population in Nigeria. Um, Nigeria has three largest, three really large um, ethnic groups, which is the Hausas, Fulanis, Yorubas, and Igbos, which Igbo I, I am. According to Answers Africa, one out of seven Africans are Nigerian. The climate in Nigeria is mostly tropical, and it is divided into rainy and a dry season, which is they only have two seasons. Um, the best time to travel is December through February, which is the dry season, and the rainy season is summer. Um, Nigeria is the home of Nollywood, and the name is given to the Nigerian movie industry. According to Grafstad Net, Nollywood has become the second largest film industry, trailing right behind um, Bollywood, which is Indian film. Um, there are many Nigerian traditions, and one huge tradition, which is like in all um, different ethnic groups of Nigeria um, is age earns respect in many families. Um, many families, they refer to their big brother or sister as big brother or big sister. That doesn't happen in my family, but in my parents' families, they did that. Um, traditionally, most Nigerians live in extended families and um, either within the same home or in separate houses, but they're all clustered together, like one big neighborhood almost. Um, a lot of Nigerians in America, like they live with their grandparents or sometimes even live with their cousins and stuff and we're just like really close together and we're just like one big family. Um, Education is also a must, like all A's, like it's huge, um, almost in almost every Nigerian household and that's because the house has in Fulanis, which is like one of the biggest ethnic groups, they don't believe in um, education and they also don't believe in like going to the doctor and stuff and that's why you see like Polio is still in Nigeria, and that's because it's really in the house that's in Fulani because they don't believe in going to the doctor because they're all like Muslim and stuff like that. Um, there's many signature foods in Nigeria, and one big one is spicy pepper soup, and the name is kind of self-explanatory. It's like soup, which is really spicy, made out of peppers and stuff like that. It can either be ate like with meat or fish. Another thing is plantains, which is really big in a lot of countries. It can be fried, um, stewed with meat, toasted, which I've never tried, or made into pastries. Suya, which is here, is kind of really popular. Um, it is like a spicy shish kebab, which is kind of like on a stick. Um, though um, the food may be delicious, we can't forget about the places we can't miss when we visit Nigeria. Um, there are a bunch of beaches in Nigeria, but I just listed two. There's Coconut Beach, and there's also Karami Waters. And another thing is that animals don't just roam the streets like many people think. We actually have a national park, which is Cross River National Park. And if you want to see like architecture and stuff, you can go to in Downray Hill. Um, another big place to visit would probably be Calabar um, Festival if you visit Nigeria. Um, it's a huge festival. All the vibrant colors and stuff is like really um, a place to visit. It's also known as West Africa's um, biggest street party. It's a place you can't miss. Um, there are many more
beautiful festivals, beaches, and attractions scattered across Nigeria and throughout Africa. And though, think, though you hear things about Nigeria, sometimes you have to actually visit the country to see what really makes it beautiful. I did this speech to take away stereotypes about Nigeria and Africa. And um, I hope you leave this room with a little bit more insight on um, being Nigerian and Africa and how amazing it really can be. Thank you.